all right youtube in this video what we are going to see is how to create a tooltip what do i mean what do i mean by tooltip when i click on the letter you will see the tooltip appears this is what we are going to see in this tutorial we are going to use a property called us user select and then what it does do as you can see it does not allow me to select anything on this paragraph whereas I can select anything on the pop-up or over here as well but it does not allow me to select here this is what the user select none does it is a CSS property if you want you can get the source code in the description we are going to use the javascript over here let me remove all the CSS and start from scratch and also the javascript the very first thing what we have to do is we have to understand the HTML we have a main container called pop-up which has the class called pop-up and then the span tag which is inside the class pop-up and also it has the class show text the same is for the ID as well now if I show you if I show you without the CSS this is what it looks like now we can add the CSS body background as red text align center yes we got it now this is a span tag we are going to style it since this span tag has a class show text which uh, padding has top and bottom 0 pixel left and right 8 pixel background as yellow make it in a uh, border radius as 20 pixel and yes now I want to position at the bottom display inline block is what I'm going to write just the block now inline block with width as 20% 40 and that seems ok and again the position position absolute top of 100% let's check how does it looks it went somewhere now make it 50 let me give the container position relative so, uh, whenever we use position absolute we are required to write position relative to its parent that's what we do make it 70 120 and left as 50 percentage thirty percent would be appropriate and yes if you want you can add it twenty nine let's check now we need a triangle to get the triangle we will be using pseudo element for the show text content colon then border as 5 pixel 
got a style as solid border color as red let me show let me show you how does it looks i will make it yellow it is not a red it is yellow so now height be 25 pixel let it be the same for the width we don't need height and width let's check transparent right four times top right bottom left now we need the lower triangle so for that the yellow should be this is for top this is for right and this is for bottom yes now we are going to position with the help of position top of 50 percentage that's it 150 we have to add minus 150 adjust it accordingly until you get the right value i think 55 would be the right thing now the left let me make it 50 percentage 30 and yes that seems appropriate if you want you can add the padding sorry margin align it JavaScript. As you can see, I have already added a function. When I click on the function, this function. When I click on the container, this function should get executed. And this function, this function simply add the class show. And the inside show, we would be having visibility visible. by default our show text our text is going to be hidden so with the help of javascript that is when i click on here i want the class show to be added on the span tag before that use the container which is the pop up and add the new property user select colon none now now you can see i can select sing each word when i refresh it when i double click on it it won't allow me to select this is because i have added user select the pop up can be selected but not this div okay now with the help of javascript i'm going to give the structure to the function which i have added on the 
container so get this id of the span tag document dot get element by id this is the span tag id variable span so toggle the span span dot class list simply what it will do is it will get the class of the span I'm going to alert it please note this class list will give the current class of the span the current class of the span is show text if you want I can change it and show you now it's show text now that would be a problem because I have styled it so it is confirmed that the show text is the class of the span tag so along with the show text I want to add another class with the help of the method called toggle and inside the parameter I would writing the class name let's check and yes thank you so much for listening get the source code in the description